hello guys in this video i'm going to be showing you how to import map to kobo toolbox but we are going to be performing two operations in this video the first one is we learn how to develop a shape file how to develop map that will be imported to the kobo toolbox map server so we are going to be using third party application which is qgis qgis quantum gis so we are going to be using it to develop a shape file and that shape file will be imported to Kobo Tubos map server. So let's jump into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is to locate the Kobo, the KGIS on my desktop. So I'm going to leave in the description below how to download KGIS to your desktop. So I'm going to wait for some seconds. Now we are in the QGIS interface. So I'm going to click New Empty Projects. This is the dashboard that we are going to use to develop the shape file. So I'm going to come down to SYZ types. So I'm going to use Google Hybrid Map to lay the map on the dashboard. So this will be used uh, to know the actual location where I need to create the grid or the map or the shape file. So I'm in this particular location, which is Victoria Island. If you are in any location, you can just detect or you move the map to your location. So I'm in Victoria Island, and I'm going to zoom into Victoria Island now. We are in the virtual island map interface. So I'm going to click on this icon, which is new shape file. After clicking on this icon, it's going to pop up new shape file layer. So I'm going to click on this ribbon and I'm going to name the file. Let me name it Victoria Island, Victoria underscore Island. And I'm going to click on save. So for the file encoding UTF-8, make use of UTF-8. For the geometry type, I'm going to select polygon. So map can either be represented as polygon, line, or point. So I'm going to use polygon. After that, I'm going to come down to OK. I'm going to click on OK. So after clicking on OK, it's going to take me to this interface. Now. As you can see, this is going to pop up. This button icon is going to, the uh, pencil icon is going to pop up. So I'm going to click on the toggle editing. After clicking on it, this is also going to pop up. This icon is going to pop up. Add polygon. So I'm going to click on add polygon. Then after clicking on the add polygon, I'm going to click on the point where I want to where I want to develop my map. So I'm selecting the location, which is Victoria Island. I'm selecting the location. You can do that as well. So I'm selecting the location. So after clicking on the location, you now right click and it's going to pop up this ID. So for the ID, I can just re replace it with one. Then I'll click on OK. So this is how to create a shape file. And we are going to import this shape file to Kobo 2 Boss Map Server. So, what I need to do now is to I can save this as let me receive it as GeoJSON. So you can see GeoJSON. So you select GeoJSON as your format. So after selecting GeoJSON, then I'll click on this button to rename it. So I can click, I can rename it as Island. And I'm going to click on save. Then I'm going to leave everything the way it is. And I'm going to click on OK. So I have JoJSON in my desktop. So the next thing I'm going to do is to go to Kobo Toolbox. So I'm going to go to Kobo Toolbox. And I don't have a project. So I need to create a project. So I'm just going to click on new. 
I'm going to click on view from scratch. Let me name it Victoria, or, or probably I'll name it map. Then I'm going to leave the description empty. For the sector, I'm going to select order. You can select whatever you want. For the country, I'm going to select Nigeria. And I'm going to click on create projects. So I'm going to wait for some seconds and it's going to take me to Kobo 2 bus interface. So I'm going to click on this button. So I'll just create a simple question or simple um, question type, which is geo points. Geo points. So I'll click on add question and I'm going to look for geo points, which is points. So I'm going to click on these points. So we've successfully created a question that will be used to collect geo points of respondents. So I'm going to click on save. So if you already have um, a form, you don't need to create this form. What you need to do is just to go to the map server in Kobo Toolbox and display the map you created in the map server. So I'm going to click on save and I'm going to click on return to list. And I'm going to also click on the map again. Then I'll click on deploy to deploy the form to server. After that, I'm going to click on open to open the form in a new tab. So I'm going to locate Victoria Island where I my actual location. So I'm going to locate that on the map. So I'm going to click on the location and I'm going to save. So let me click on the location again. So let me click on the location. I'm going to click on say submit. So I'm going to zoom in again. So I have three data sets now in my location. So I'm going to click on submit. So let me just click on, let me click on another location outside of my grid. So I'll click on another location outside of my grid. So I'm going to click on this location. And I'm going to click on save. So we have four data in Kobo Tubos backend. So I'm going to go to Kobo Tubos and I have zero submissions. What I need to do is just to refresh the page. Now I have four submissions. So what I need to do is just to click on the form. And I'm going to click on data. Then I'm going to click on map. As you can see, we are in the map interface in Kobo Toolbox. So you can toggle this to view the map in in um, large screen. So I'm going to in full screen. So I'm going to click on it. So now you can change the map. You can change the uh, point type to to its map. You can see we have the four okay this is the fourth one we have the first point second point third point and the fourth point so what i need to do again now is to import the shapefi or the geodesy map to the kobo 2 bus map server so i'm going to click on settings this map display settings and i'm going to name the layer let me name the layer as um, map so i'm going to name it as map and I'm going to click on upload to upload the map. So it's going to look for the map. So I saved the map in the music. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to click on open. So as you can see, the map has been displayed in the Kobo 2 bus map server. You can see the polygon. So which means that in this particular location, 
I have three points. So out of the point, this will be counted as outliers. For instance, if my data is coming from this particular location and I discover that another data is out of the location, with this, I'll be able to detect these outliers. Then I can now click on it to get information about the, about the data. So that is how to import map to Kobo2Bus map server. Thank you.